Hey everybody, I'm Sam Haymart. You're watching TDTV Garage. This week in the garage, we have the 2025 Ford Maverick Lobo with the two liter EcoBoost engine. Big news under the hood this year, it's all new. Yeah, so we're gonna take a complete tour outlining all of the new specs, the technical features, and some of the areas you need to check out if you're doing your own maintenance. The 2025 Ford Maverick EcoBoost features an all-new, completely redesigned 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. It's rated at 238 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. In the Lobo all-wheel drive tester we have, it has an EPA-rated fuel economy of 21 MPG city, 30 highway, and 24 MPG combined on regular and leaded gasoline. While a 2.0-liter EcoBoost engine has been available for over a decade in Ford products, this latest generation is an all-new engine from the ground up, starting with the 2025 model year. Now built at the Dearborn Engine Plant in Michigan instead of Cleveland, Ohio or Valencia, Spain, the engine shares little in the way of parts or components with the previous generation found in 2022-2024 Ford Mavericks. It has a brand new aluminum block and head design, new cams and valve train, new crankshaft rods and pistons, a cast aluminum valve cover instead of plastic, a new belt-driven water pump, and a revised accessory drive. Also added to the mix is a new gas particulate filter as part of the catalyst system, which some early 2025 model year production models may not yet have installed. Notably, the new engine, while still reading out at 2 liters, has a revised bore and stroke that makes it actually a slight bit smaller. Bore is down to 84 millimeters, while stroke increases to 90 millimeters. Displacement is down to 1,995 cc's from 1999, or 121.7 cubic inches instead of 122, a very small difference. Key changes in functionality include a completely new fuel system that now has both multi-port and direct fuel injection. A new air intake arrangement has the filter box mounted directly to the top of the engine, which frees up space on the driver's side and allows for open view of the transmission. In that way, the Maverick logo model we have here features a 7-speed sport shift automatic transmission. For the purposes of our tour, however, the 2.0-liter EcoBoost engine bay here is virtually identical to other 2025 Maverick EcoBoost models, as both the 7-speed and the 8-speed automatic transmissions share the same visual appearance. Starting with the airflow, the intake charge now starts at the top of the radiator just left of center and travels into the air filter box at the top of the engine. From there, the intake charge routes to the twin scroll turbocharger, which is at the rear of the engine and out of sight from above. The turbocharger is mounted directly to the aluminum head, which has an integral exhaust manifold for better thermal efficiency and is controlled by an electronically actuated wastegate. Now boosted, the intake charge then travels forward through a long duct up to an air-to-air -air intercooler mounted behind the front bumper. Once cooled, the air then routes back up to a drive-by-wire throttle body located at the front of the engine and into a composite plastic intake manifold. On top of the head, you can see all four spark plug coil packs, though one on the far right is slightly obscured. The fuel system is mostly hidden away from view with a port fuel injection rail and injectors underneath the filter box. The direct fuel injection lines and injectors are deep under the intake manifold, very difficult to see. In spite of being tightly packaged, doing your own service and maintenance is relatively straightforward. The oil dipstick and filler cap are easy to find at the top of the engine in plain sight. Changing the oil filter requires access underneath, which means removing the big undershield. Windshield washer fluid is at the passenger side fender with a bright blue cap. Next to it is the main engine coolant reservoir. Checking the brake fluid, that's done at the driver's side firewall. You'll note here that instead of a standard power booster and master cylinder, there's an electric motor computer controlled brake system and ABS combination unit. Because this Maverick has the full Copilot 360 advanced driving aids, which require the computer to have complete control over the brakes. The 12 volt battery is located just to the side of the brake fluid reservoir and easy to access. While the main breaker fuses are under the hood, most accessory fuses that we're going to be looking for are located inside the cabin under the glove box. Changing the filter is an easy job, needing only to pop a couple of clips to access the element. We have a complete and full how-to video on our Maverick playlist linked at the end of the video. 
Notable details under the hood include the dual horns which can be seen at the leading edge of the driver's side fender. Just ahead of them is one of the LED headlamp assemblies which shows us that only the turn signal and parking lamp bulbs are user serviceable. And lastly, you'll see at the strut towers there are decorative plastic covers, which means replacing the struts will require their removal first. Well, there you have it, my friends. Pretty big news. An all-new engine with a lot of changes and updates under the hood of the 2025 Ford Maverick. And I want to personally thank Ford Motor Company, their communications department, for being completely remiss in your duties. Your specs are out of date, incomplete, and incorrect on your website a year after this vehicle was introduced publicly. There is missing information. We have gotten conflicting information from you because you just don't have it together. That is, that is bad stuff. The dealers don't know what the information is because they can't get it. The public website that consumers go to is incomplete and incorrect. And all of this information I had to learn by popping the hood and going, wow, this isn't the same as what the specs say. And getting information from the forums of all places that have other information that some of the dealers and the techs have provided. So if you're watching this video and going, huh, this doesn't match up with what the Ford website says or what my dealer told me or what I thought, it's because Ford Motor Company has done a terrible job at being transparent and up to date. And I'm a journalist who tells the truth. They might be mad at me for that, but that's the fact. So everything that you just heard from me about this engine has been gleaned from other sources besides Ford, at least not directly from Ford North America. Some of the other countries around the world have a little bit better departments when it comes to getting information out there. So I'm done bitching about that. This is a great improvement of an engine, both port and direct fuel injection. A lot of people are going to be happy about that. Yes, the horsepower is down a little bit. That has to do with some of the emissions equipment that has been added for this year. The gas particulate filter that I mentioned, some of the early production does not have that yet, which is one of the reasons there has been some confusion in the horsepower numbers because that is one of the reasons the horsepower numbers are a little bit lower. So if you have an early production model without some of these things, it may very well be that you have the earlier horsepower numbers. It's hard to know because Ford hasn't told us and we're not getting straight answers out of them either. So that said, we do have a test drive on this truck, the new 2025 Maverick Lobo. You can see that on our Maverick playlist, one of the most comprehensive playlists on YouTube, test drives, tech, how to, and so forth. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel right there, stay informed of everything we do. Either way, stay tuned.